G'day viewers, I just wanted to let you in on a few things what I have noticed about the tubes and announced competition winners. Uh, as per my own advice, I've written down the things I wanted to say so I won't forget them. And also, as per my advice, through the magic of editing, it'll look like I remembered them all from here on in. You won't see me looking at the book again. Have you played with the YouTube Insight feature yet? In case you miss this, uh, on your My Videos list now, there's a little button that says About This Video. And if you click on that, it shows you all your views and you can break it down by country. It's really pointless, but you can use up a huge amount of time going, Ooh, how many people in Madagascar watched me? How many people in Thailand watched me? I seem to be surprisingly popular around uh, Scandinavia, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, and I know a few of the regular commenters do come from that part of the world, because I'm always getting little messages about that part of the world. So it's actually a bizarre amount of fun to follow that around and look at all the different countries. One other thing I've noticed that's less fun, a rash of people stealing videos, basically downloading people's videos and then re-uploading them, usually using them to spam porn. Of course I noticed because it was happening to mine, but I know it's happening to a huge number of people. For a while I was reporting them all and YouTube's been quite good about taking them down. People were even pointing me to external sites. I think one was called Mega Video, where a bunch of mine had been uploaded by different users. And they weren't even using them to market spam, it was just they wanted people to watch my videos that they'd uploaded, I don't know, Reflected Glory? Something? I don't even get that. But hey, now you know why I put the URL down here. So even when people steal my videos, there's still some direct link back to me in them. Uh, and honestly, it is happening so much at the moment. Uh, I can't even be ass chasing them all down. It's not worth my time. Dorks are going to do it no matter what, so pfft. On a kind of related note, I did also see a resurgence in comment spam on YouTube recently. YouTube's actually gotten way better at dealing with spam. I used to think they weren't trying. They got around to it eventually. I had actually changed a bunch of my older videos to uh, friends could automatically comment. Everyone else I have to approve the comment because I got sick of spam even showing up. I never even wanted it to be visible. And I've learned I don't have to do that anymore. So when I get comments on those older videos that I have to approve, I take them off that one by one. I can't be asked searching through them all to find them. Uh, so if you have a comment on an older video and the comment doesn't come up, that's probably the reason. Uh, and I'm taking that off. There's a little bit of spam popping up now, but I don't know, YouTube have improved their algorithm, they filter with or whatever. It's way less horrible than it used to be. Another thing I noticed, I don't know where this comes from. I don't know if this was a partner thing or what. Nobody sent me a message telling me I had this. I just noticed it when I was uploading a video. The upper limit in file size for me now is one gigabyte, 1,024 megabytes. Thank you. Now, I've posted videos longer than 10 minutes, and every time I do, people go, wow, how do you do that? Even though I've explained it heaps of time. The original director accounts let you post videos longer than 10 minutes. That was the whole idea of a director account. You were making short films of some sort. You had to apply for them, and if you got approved, you got it. And then too many dickheads abused it and were posting full-length TV shows and even movies on director accounts. So YouTube stopped offering that benefit. But they never took it away from the people who already had it. So I can post videos longer than 10 minutes. But I still had the 100 megabyte limit. So when I recently did that 51 minute video, it was compressed more than usual. So the quality wasn't as good. But now I don't have that 100 megabyte limit. Ha ha ha! I can do a really long video without compressing it. Ha 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 ha! The power! So yeah, I'm totally doing that. The difference between this upcoming long video and the last long video, I'm going to edit this one. Uh, just for a challenge in the last one, I did it all in one take. 51 minutes of me talking non-stop. This one, I'm just going to keep going until I run out of bizarre shit to say. So you all can help me along. Uh, anyone who wants to suggest any topic at all for me to go off on, comment. I will mention every comment to this video in my long video. Even if it's just a shout out saying, hi, you commented. But 
Throw anything at all, any question you've ever had for me, anything you wanted to know my opinion on, put it in a comment on this video and I will address it in the next week or so on a really long video. And that is about it, which just leaves me to announce the competition winners. People who designed banners for me, a huge number of entries came in. Really have to thank everyone, because you'll notice from my placeholder banners, I really suck. I desperately needed the help. So there will be new banners going up. I think I kind of predicted at the start of the competition I'd end up with more than one winner. And I bought a bunch of these t-shirts as the prize, so everyone who wins gets one of these mailed out to them. And there are in fact three winners. I'll be rotating their banners. The three winners are Soiled Art, Telly Shaman, and Mega Leech. And Evil Brain Productions. Four winners, okay? I got back to my computer and I realised there was another one that I wanted to use, and it was from Evil Brain Productions. Also, while I was editing, I noticed that looked a bit like a nipple clamp. That was unintentional. I think I'll call the video that Mr. Angry Loves Nipple Clamps. That'll get the S&M crowd in, if nothing else. Megalich did about a squillion, and I'm going to use more than one of his. I have no idea how he found the time for it either, because if you look at his latest video, which he might put as a link to this so you know what the hell I'm talking about, he spent about three weeks putting together this animated video as a music video for a friend. And I'm not surprised it took three weeks. Hell, I just slapped these things together. That was some pretty hard work, and at the same time, he was just churning out uh, banners for me. So go check that out because it's well worth it. But those are the three winners. And I also want to, as a little bit of a shout out to everyone who did send me banners, I want to roll through some of them now. Now my editing program doesn't recognize animated GIFs. So some of these might look a bit funny. If they look funny, they're probably animated GIFs and they were pretty cool. So if they don't look cool, it's because they were animated GIFs. And I'm going to Put everyone's username up there. Thank you to all of you. And the final thing I'll put out, I'm going to use the angry Aussie theme as the background while these all roll by. Periodically, people ask me, can they have a copy of that on MP3? Yes, I will also put a link in the details box. So go check that out for a link where you can download it. Incidentally, people often find fault with the sites where I upload it. They say it's got lots of ads or spam or something. Hell, they're free. That's all I know. One downside of the sites I have used is... When you upload something, it's not there permanently. It's there for a limited number of times, a, a limited number of downloads, I should say, or a limited amount of elapsed time, and then it goes away. If anyone knows a place that lets you upload MP3s that are easy to download and they stay up there, uh, let me know and I'll put it up there so I don't have to re-upload it every now and then when people ask for it. But here's a little thank you scroll to everyone who did contribute to the uh, banner competition Follow the link to go download the Angry Aussie team if you want it. And thanks once more to Soiled Art, Mega Leech, and I promised you wouldn't see this again. Brain went blank. The winners Soiled Art, Mega Leech, and Telly Shaman. Thank you very much. Send me a message with your sizes, and I'll send you out a T-shirt. Oh, so you better tell me where to send it as well. I've still got a few of these. Uh, there is another competition coming up soon in the next week. It's quite different. A different prize. This one. It's a challenge. It's gonna sort the goats from the sheep. You don't have to have a video camera for this one. There's not many excuses, it's just going to see who's brave. You'll see what I mean. Stay tuned. Until then, have a good one.